this is Joshua Cassidus with SpotMeTraining.com. Now, a lot of us talk about utilizing the squats to stimulate the glutes, um, but your body's already created motion patterns for the squat, and it may not emphasize the glute at all. Um, so here are some tools you can use to assist your body to put more intent into your glutes for their growth and development, and to learn to be more mindful of your squats. All right, so my personal favorite of the assist um, is going to be a suspension trainer. Uh, the suspension trainer allows you to use your arms, um, but more importantly, it allows you to use your upper back um, and your biceps in order to assist through the squat, and that's going to help you straighten out uh, towards the top end of the spine, straightening out that thoracic spine, which is really important for the squat to keep a flat back. Um, you can see that I'm placing my feet and I'm rotating my knees out. Um, placing my feet straight ahead and rotating my knees out will take a lot of the emphasis away from the quadriceps, which is the front end of your thigh, and instead transfer it to the gluteus medius, which is the side of your glute, and allows you to get more into the glute itself. The second assist that I use is a Swiffer, and uh, really any sort of tool that you have out in front of you, like a chair or a countertop, um, are all really excellent for uh, giving you a little bit of an assist inside of that squat. It's not quite as effective since you don't get a lot of that arm strength that you would out of a suspension trainer, but still good nonetheless. And um, you can press down into it in order to help with that, like, that thoracic lift um, in order to assist with that weight bearing. But again, with that front view, you can see that my feet are pointing straight ahead while my knees are externally rotating. And again, that takes the strength out of the quadricep, which is the front end of your thigh, and transfers it to the outside of your thigh into the glute medius and the glute maximus. So here's a freestanding squat from the profile view, and uh, you are looking to create contraction and retraction out of that glute. And that's one of the things that I wanna emphasize the most. You can see that my glute is pulling back like the rubber band at the top of a slingshot. And that's really what the glute does. It presses the hips forward and backwards. So by emphasizing, instead of just dropping my hips straight down, but also pulling my hips back, I'm able to expand and retract my glute before I create a nice strong contraction, emphasizing a lot more of that glute rather than just going through the motion, being mindful of the muscle. To cap it all off, uh, I did add a weight bearing. Uh, that right there is a 50 pound kettlebell. Um, you know, within these past three, four minutes that I was filming this, I knocked out about 40 or 50 squats, but I still wanted to cap it off with something weighted. And uh, the fatigue is there. <laughs> you can certainly see it uh, towards the end. I try to just get through the motion rather than emphasize the muscle. Putting that intent into the glute creates that muscular failure, where 50 pounds seems really tough for those last few reps. All right, I hope that video was useful to you and maybe you found some tools around your home that you might be able to use um, in order to develop your glutes and develop your squat. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, click subscribe, all that other typical YouTube stuff. Um, and visit SpotMeTraining.com for more videos and information on how you can do more anywhere.